And here we are, we're gonna continue uh, talking about the medical profession next. So let's get started. Here we go. Nurses and other healthcare professionals have been socialized in exactly the same ways as most of us, only to touch a very few others in very few ways. So yes, this is real. Um, I do have clients that come and see me and they tell me that the only touch they've received in this life is medical touch. Those of you who have been sick since you were really little, um, you know, there was a lot of fear around touching your body because they didn't want you to be harmed or something, you know, to happen. And so then the only touch they get is this really clinical medical touch and it's very painful because sometimes you just want that nurture. So unfortunately, and I think this is changing, if you were a medical professional out there and you can tell me if, if I'm guessing training has changed and they've incorporated more ways to just do touch in a, in a innocuous, in a like, yeah, just a natural way, please let us know in the comments below. But here we go, let's share some more. We've discovered some of the reasons why, despite the amazing benefits, Touch is so difficult in the healthcare professions. Well, no one ever taught me how to touch in a therapeutic kind of way, and I don't touch much in my personal life, so it's hard for me to touch my clients at the hospital. I wish I could touch more freely. Hi, Brian. I'll go to the bathroom. Stop there, real quick. I've also heard stories of clients tell me about their own counselors, therapists, social workers, and how they've asked for a hug from these people. And that's not been a thing that's been accessible or available to them from them. Um, I met a, so a counselor one time who was really uncomfortable with touch. Like she's great at like talking and <laughs> doing the work, um, all that talk work, that neck up stuff. But when it came to uh, touching a client or even just touch in general in her life, that would be really difficult. So you know, there's that, that bonding that happens with your therapist and there's no guarantee that, that therapist will be comfortable with, again, healthy, healthy touch. Sure. All right. I gotta stop there for a second, this is hilarious. So she said a massage, <laughs> okay? So watch this. There's a massage going here. That's it. See you later. <laughs> I was taught not to invade the privacy of the patient. It's very difficult to relearn what was instilled in me for so long. But I'm beginning to touch more. It's beneficial to the patient and me. It feels good. All right, Brian, wash down there. Okay, that was hilarious. I don't know if that's a thing that happens right now since I've never been in that situation, but like, that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> that face, like, take care of your business. Get that stinky stuff. Yeah, I'm like, that guy's like, okay. <laughs> Which, I mean, I don't think it's a thing. I don't know. I don't know how all these like sponge baths work, but again, those of you in the medical world can tell us more. <laughs> I was always afraid of patients taking it the wrong way when I touch them. Also, I sense sometimes my co-workers will disapprove. I used to think I didn't have the time. I'm always so rushed. But really, it doesn't take any more time to squeeze someone's shoulder or touch someone on the back. Excuse me. I want my mom. I'm afraid that that the information isn't good. The laying on of hands by doctors is seldom yeah, experienced even when the prognosis now, is uh, one of a mutilating operation uh, or terminal uh, illness. Many physicians are aware of the power of touch but are reluctant to use or prescribe methods which can be attacked as unscientific. We're a society that can put electrodes to your head but not hold your hand. Do y'all remember in the beginning when we talked about how touch can be a way of communication? 
that's a really great example of that. How important, how valuable that it's hard to tell someone, hey, I'm sorry, or this is really difficult. And how just a simple touch can communicate so much that maybe we just don't have the words for. In that case, you know, in society, he knew to pass Kleenex, right? Like, here. But Kleenex, sometimes what it communicates is, stop crying, you're making me uncomfortable. Um, there's a double-edged sword with the Kleenex box. But a touch is, I'm here. I'm with you. It can say so many things. So helpful. The hurried and mechanized our society becomes, the easier it is to forget to touch. Families are eating meals in shifts. In many homes, both parents are working. But still, we could find ways to touch those around us that say we care, we love. One cold winter day, I was bathing our five-year-old granddaughter, and I had warmed her towel and her sleepers in the oven. And as I wrapped her in them, she moved very close to me, put her arms around me and said, Grandma, I'll always remember you. You can't forget someone that warms your towels in the oven. And I immediately knew that, yes, she'd remember how I looked and how I talked and that I read stories to her. But most important, she was going to remember how it felt to be loved by me, really felt. There's no one in your life that's too big, too little, too young or too old to have their towels warmed, including for yourself. Skin memories are some of the most important memories of all. Touch. So let's pause there. <sighs> That story, I hope it warmed your heart as much as it warmed mine. Skin memory. It's really real. We store so much in the body. And our bodies remember. And just the, the special detail she gave. You know, she did it for her granddaughter. But she said, it's okay to do it for yourself, too. How valuable that would be to give that gift to yourself. Just allowing the body, the skin to... To feel, touch, and to like remember what it was like, and to touch someone else, and, and if you notice that they're busy, they're running around, and maybe a kid, you know, or maybe a teenager more, maybe children are distracted, easily distracted, or maybe just someone you care about, an adult or something, and simply say, hey, take a deep breath, be here with me, really sense how I'm. I'm putting my hand on you. Be here. It's powerful to create skin memories with other people for yourself. Don't forget that you, we are very powerful to create these beautiful impressions. And also, of course, we can create nightmares in skin memory too. And it takes a lot of positive skin memories, many, 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 many of them, to replace a one negative one. So the more we give each other, the better it is for us in the long run. <laughs> I think we're gonna stop here, but let me just double check. In our lives, one of the things we do the least, but talk about the most. <laughs> the entry for the word touch is the longest. In the Oxford English Dictionary, it is 14 columns long. We speak of people as being a soft touch. We we'll speak of a woman or a man as... Yeah, I'm going to do another video on that. Definitions. I like words. So, okay, cool. Um, another video. I think this one might be our last one, this last one. Okay, y'all. Hope you're enjoying this.